Hey guys, what is up? Rain and Eiffel here at 48942, and today I have got for you guys a computer craft turtle being controlled by Reddit. Yes, the website Reddit. Um, I've already used an Xbox controller and SMS text messaging and uh, even a Wii remote to control these uh, computer craft turtles, but today I'm going to show you guys a concept that I came up with to control a turtle using Reddit. Uh, now, the turtle processing part is a little bit slow, so you'll have to bear with me with that, but I'm going to show you guys the code as well. So, first I'm going to go ahead and show how it works. So here we've got a turtle, and we got a uh, startup script running on it right now. And here we've got Reddit. So, we're going to go ahead and submit a new text post. This is a special subreddit that I made just for this, and uh, currently only I have access to it. And then we've also got this web page right here, which has a passcode, which we are going to put as the title. And then we just got text right here, and this is just going to be the command that we want our turtle to run. This is just a Lua command. So I'm just going to say turtle.up, just like that, and then we'll hit submit. Now this is the part that takes a little while, waiting for our turtle to actually move up. So while we wait for the turtle to move up, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how the code works. So this is the, oh there it went, it just moved up, it actually didn't take as long as usual, usually it takes a couple minutes. So um, this is the turtle that we are uh, currently using, so I'll go ahead and open up the startup file right here. And here we go. This is the code. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through it. Uh, and this code will be paste will be posted on the Computercraft forums if you guys want to check it out. Um, link will be in the description. But at the time of this video, or at the time that you are reading this, this code might be a little bit different. I'm gonna try to fix a couple things and improve a little bit. So anyway, the first thing that I'm loading that I'm doing is loading this JSON API that I got from the Computercraft forums. I don't remember exactly where, but <laughs> we're first loading it. Then we're creating a variable called URL, and this is just the URL of the subreddit that we are posting to. Then we got an infinite loop, and this is the code that's running in the infinite loop. And we're making two um, variables in here. One is just the passcode, which is this right here and the other variable is the JSON version I guess I guess it's called JSON uh, of the new section of the subreddit which looks something like hold on this so just a bunch of JSON and we're just loading that into this variable right here so all this text is being loaded into this variable and this text just comes from in the subreddit in this new section right here. So it's going to go into this new section, and grab all of this, and put it into JSON right here. And then take that JSON and put it into this variable. Then it's going to loop through this code five times. And what this is doing is it's pretty much getting the first five posts in the new section. So it's getting this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one and it's going to loop through them. So let's say currently we are on the first thread. So it's going to check the first thread. It's going to get the data of that thread. And then it's going to test to see if passcode, which is this up here, is equal to the title of the current thread. So if we look over here, we're pretty much seeing if this passcode that's right here is the same as the, fir the title of the first thread. And if it's not, then it's going to go on to the second thread, see if the title of the second thread is equal to the passcode here, and it's going to do that five times. All right, then it is going to, if if they are the same, so if, it, if the title of whatever one is at, let's say the first one, if the title of the first thread is the same as this passcode, then it's going to get the text of the thread that it's checking, so, for an example, if it's checking the first thread, it's going to get the text from it, which is this right here. 
and it's pretty much just gonna run that command which is what these two lines of code here do uh, this is just running this command which is this right here then it's going to get or it's pretty much gonna run this code here um, this is the way that we generate a new passcode so let me just show you guys how it works I'm gonna refresh this real quick because the code should be different so here's the current code now if I run this which is gonna generate an error because I have a little typo um, so if I run that and then refresh this now something different but it only changes when this is refreshed see just like that so it's gonna generate a new passcode and then it's just gonna print a nice debug message um, this is something here I need to fix but this is the debug message turtle dot up run by alphanator and then it's gonna repeat and you can do this pretty much as many times as you want and that's pretty much how the program works it's quite simple like I said I'm gonna be posting uh, the all the PHP code it's only about maybe five lines of code and then this is just like 16 lines I think yeah 16 lines of code when it's compressed like that so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this um, I do know the reason why it's going slowly I think this line here is not like refreshing every time this loop is run so I need to figure out a way to fix that so if anybody knows why this is not refreshing each time the JSON here uh, wherever it is the JSON is refreshing but computer craft isn't getting the updated version um, so like uh, the JSON is updating instantly whereas computer craft is updating every couple like every minute or so um, and then yeah that's 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 the main reason why it takes so long I think and then also if you guys know how to fix this error if I think it has something to do with 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 not being able to make a connection to this website for whatever reason uh, maybe it's because of an unstable internet connection but sometimes if it fails to connect to this website it throws out this error so if anybody knows how to fix that that would be great if you could uh, give me some tips towards that so anyway guys that's pretty much it I hope I did at least a decent job of kind of trying to explain things as best as I could so hopefully you guys get at least a little bit of an understanding of how this works and uh, thank you so much for watching guys it really means a lot to me if you enjoyed please please leave a thumbs up it really encourages me to continue creating these videos I really enjoy making them and if you want more projects like this feel free to subscribe appreciate that as well so thank you guys once again for watching and i'll see you guys next time